Hello all. In this video, we will see how to uh, add, uh, how to create a, a list view page for a custom object. Okay. So uh, first uh, to implement custom object uh, screens. So we should enable uh, the objects uh, into workspace. So now we go to workspace and we see, uh, we'll see uh, what what custom objects are enabled into the workspace so this is the first step uh, we need to do uh, to to implement uh, custom objects uh, in digital sales uh, okay so here we have a service encounter uh, is a custom object okay and <clears throat> And these are the records uh, in it. So this is enabled. Um, so if you want to enable any other object, so we need to first go to uh, set set up and maintenance and configure adaptive search. So in that, uh, we need to enable that the uh, the other custom objects, and then uh, we go with implementing implementing the screens in Visual Builder. So now we go to uh, uh, application composer and visual builder. So we'll create a new project and uh, new project and the workspace. We'll quickly create the uh, uh, environment and as well as the project as well uh, and the workspace as well. We created an environment and then we'll go to workspace and then we'll create a new workspace. So we need to choose a new application extension, surface and encounter uh, object and um, here, uh the development environment development environment as the uh, the created environment and um to implement uh, the custom objects we need to select cx sales so if we want to extend any standard objects from digital sales portfolio so we need to select digital sales but if you want to select uh, the custom objects so you can choose cx sales since our changes are in mainline, so we don't need any sandbox and we can we can use the scratch repository for now for this demo purpose. Before going to implement, so we'll just talk about uh, how we'll uh, implement. So if we go to docs.oracle.com, so uh, we have uh, this documentation related to next gen sales uh, so uh, so in next gen portal so we we will get the uh, um, extension guide okay so extending digital sales guide so we 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 need to uh, uh, refer that uh, for uh, implementing um, the uh, custom objects or any extensions that are related to uh, Visual Builder Studio, specifically for uh, next gen sales. Okay, so if you don't have access to uh, this portal, so we need to contact Oracle representative, uh, and we'll get the uh, access uh, to NGS portal, and from there we can get the uh, related kind of file. Okay, so now if you go to um, the approach, so basically uh, the um custom objects we can build uh, using uh, two approaches one is using fag fragments and uh, the another approach is without fragments so in next gen sales or in visual builder studio uh, in visual builder uh, we have uh, this concept of fragment 
fragment is nothing but a reusable component which we can use uh, across the application. So Oracle developed a few uh, 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 reusable components. Those are called uh, the uh, fragments, like for creating um, a create page or edit page uh, or some templates, panel templates uh, or notes section, uh, <clears throat> attachment section. Okay, so, so these are all some reusable components or list view page. So these are all some reusable components. Those are called uh, the fragments. So without fragments approach also we can go. Um, so in, in, in this demo, so we'll, we'll see uh, the approach uh, using uh, without fragments. To use fragments, uh, we need to import few files from the um, few files and then we need to uh, uh, proceed with uh, using fragments. Here we don't need. Now we'll see uh, how we can uh, configure using um, uh, without fragments. Now we'll go to Visual Builder. So the first uh, op first um, um, first thing that we need to do is uh, adding a service connection. Okay. So so by default uh, we we don't get the uh, custom objects APIs. So to do that, uh, we need to implement uh, this. We need to create a service connection from uh, from this. So select from, choose the option, select from the catalog. And in Oracle Cloud applications, uh, we need to select sales and service. And here, give the uh, give the endpoint name. So this endpoint we can uh, we can uh, we can edit later point. Um, so for now, I'm I'm searching for only my uh, required object. So I need a service encounter object. So I selected that. If we expand, it it will have all the child or whatever uh, related uh, endpoints. So all will get selected. So I'm selecting all uh, specific to this object and then create. So that's all. Uh, we 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 have the endpoint uh, in uh, under CX custom. Now we go to app UI. And mm, so if you want to extend any standard application, so we uh, earlier we use it uh, digital sales, we expand, we will go to digital sales and then we select object and then we, uh, we create a, a, a page layout or we modify page layout and then we'll do some changes, right? Since it's a custom object, it's completely a new uh, uh, setup that we need to for uh, each object. So, uh, uh, so for that, uh, we need to use this app UI, create your app UI. So here um, we call this as a CX objects. Okay, so by default, it creates uh, the main and uh, the resources section. Okay, so uh, so we need to create a new flow here for our uh, object. So basically, we can delete this uh, uh, main flow that we don't need uh, any anymore because we for each object we can create a, a new flow that is. Uh, in our case, uh, the uh, our flow is service encounter. Service encounter underscore C. So this should be the API name. 
So this is the naming convention we need to follow. If we create a um, new flow, it will create a, a folder uh, under CX object. Now we don't need main, so we can delete it. Also by default, uh, uh, it will create uh, a new start page. So this is also we don't need. So here uh, we should create a new page uh, that is called list. So we'll create it. And uh, from settings, uh, uh, so open uh, settings and here uh, choose this let apps UI navigate to this page. And, and also from service encounter page, go to settings and choose the default start fridge uh, from start to list. Also select the let apps UI navigate to this flow. Now, also yeah, you, you may choose the uh, default flow under CX object to service encounter. Now we need to create a few variables. So now we need to go to service encounter and under variables. So create a, a, a variable called row index and uh, which is of type uh, number. So then create. This should be a input parameter pass on URL is uh, enabled. So now uh, we need to uh, navigate to list page and then uh, go to page designer and uh, try to search for the list. So we should be able to see um, the CX adaptive uh, list. So it's not available because the dependency is not yet added to this workspace. So go to dependencies and add um, application com common com common application components so after adding that uh, refresh that refresh the screen and so now we should be able to see the uh, uh, the component So now uh, search for the list. So under fragments, we can see adaptive list and search. So just drag and drop here. So now we need to, uh, we have added the component. We need to um, modify the parameters or we need to uh, use the parameters uh, for Q uh, query UID. So just go to this uh, um, FX panel and create a variable. And make it as a, a input parameter, create it. And in the resource name, uh, use this API name. So if, if something wrong in the API name, it will throw an error uh, here. So just like this. So make sure it is correct. Uh, in row index, uh, select FX and remove any uh, pre, pre uh, values 
and just select from flow, uh, just add the row index, drag and drop or double click. So uh, now we can see the preview here. Uh, if you want a preview from uh, application, just click on the preview. So uh, in this uh, list set, right? So what exactly it uses uh, to configure adapt uh, to configure the list page is uh, it uses the uh, workspace uh, search. So if we if we observe all the actions uh, are from workspace setup. So actions, if you go to, we have uh, by default, um, we, we get this save, export, manage column, sort by relevance, okay? Uh, creating smart searches. So all these components will get from uh, the workspace uh, adapter that we added, uh, right? Adaptive list and uh, search from this fragment. Um, so we get, we get. So in this fragment, in this approach, so we are using less fragments. Uh, it's not a complete uh, fragment, uh, uh, fragments based setup. This is just uh, using some of the uh, fragments. That's all. But in uh, uh, in other approach, so we will use complete approach using fragments for for many flows. But here uh, uh, we don't use. And uh, so from here, uh, we, we don't have uh, create action yet. So it doesn't navigate to any screen and also drill downs, uh, actions. So it, it all doesn't work because we have not yet configured. What we had configured is just uh, the uh, this list screen and uh, all the saved searches. Uh, so we can configure uh, using uh, the uh, adaptive search, right? So we can we can add all other uh, relevant fields uh, to this screen and uh, using this manage columns. And then we can create a new saved search. Okay. Uh, so this is how we can create a, a, a list page for a custom object.